Hello friends, welcome back to QJS Basics. In this video, we will learn how to join an Excel file with GIS data. So for this, we have a Excel file. This is our Excel file, which has sheet numbers, date of commencement, total hours, completed status and print status. If we want to attach this in QGIS, GIS data, we have some GIS layer here. For that, we have a index of 50k thousand sheets. We have the index of these 50k thousand sheets. So, first uh, activate the labels of these sheet. Double click here. Click on symbology fill simple to transparent fill go to label select single label and change its sheet number ok and I want to see only sheet numbers at this zoom level so what I have to do in rendering scale, scale dependability select the current canvas scale and click here and click ok now this will be appear only at this scale only just double click it and save its style as default ok now if you remove this layer and again load then the same symbology will come here so we have in excel file we have 40 L series sheet where is 40L? I'll change this. I'll changing this to 42, 45. Okay. So, okay. Now I have all sheets as 45L. So just move to 45L. So here it is our 45. L series so to join the Excel file with this GIS layer just simply drag this layer drag this Excel file to I'm just closing this and drag this file to GIS data now we have this one here if you open the table then you will see here the column name and its data now to join the this excel sheet with this layer just right click properties go to join click on add button it's automatically take the join layer join field here join field is sheet number you have the same join field required in excel file and gs data if there is a slash or a space between sheet number then it will not join the you have to perform the unique join field so this is our excel file this is the field of excel file sheet number and this is the field of gis layer that is shape file in 50k index this is a column of gis layer and the fields to join check this box you want total hours complete status and print status you want only these you don't want com commencement date so I had selected only three columns click OK and OK now if I open the attribute table of 50k index file then you will see here this is sheet numbers these are the total hours if we move to 40L then we will have the corresponding data this is this is the corresponding data with 45l 
comes up here if you enter the data in excel file of others columns and rows then you will get it once you again open the project or open, again open this qgs file now in here you will see there is a prefix of your excel file name this is excel file name and this is sheet number and this is column name if you want to remove this sheet number name then what we have to do just double click on it go to join click on edit and custom prefix select the custom prefix custom field name prefix and remove it click ok ok now you will see there is only total hours and complete status print now if you want the status to be print here below that sheet number if you want to print the status of sheet below this layer then we can do this in its label and here you will see the status of completion is shown if you want both complete and print status here then how to do that i will tell you that also again go to labels expression here you will type pipe slash n pipe and print before this you will type print now have a look at this this is the expression sheet number new line status complete status print and print now you will get like this if you don't want to see this in this manner if you want to color it then you can color it if you want to change the color then you can change the color symbology also i will tell you in separate video how to change the symbology of it with case and else feature symbolizing the gis data i will tell you in next video so this is all in this video thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and thumbs up for this video if you want another video you can comment in this video section thank you